Howdy. Welcome to Wayne's Smoke Shack, real Texas barbecue. Here at Wayne's, we slow cook our meat over low heat with select wood. We open at 11 a.m. until the food runs out. We make our sides daily. We use fresh organic ingredients and spices, along with hormone and antibiotic-free meats. If you choose to share with your friends and co-workers, we're available for catering. Just come on down to Wayne's, located at 406 Center Drive, Superior, Colorado. Wayne Smoke Shack, true Texas barbecue. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep things going with our next fight in the first round. Introducing, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Red Corner, Zach Crush Fusha! Alrighty, fight fans, I had a chance to speak with the commission and they said had a fight been a draw, the fighters would go one more round. Boy, how crushing would that be in a tournament? Oh, uh, man. You know, be told, okay, guys, keep the gloves on. All right, Going checking in. out the tail of the tape here. Mr. Busha, 34 years old, a little bit shorter at 5'10". Interesting. This his style as Kung Fu. <laughs> Fun. And uh, 19 and 11 in MMA, making his professional debut for boxing and kickboxing. Talk to us about Mr. Fitcher. Well, you're, you're going to a guy with 30 fights, okay? He 30 professional fights in MMA. You take about Shane Fitcher, 33 years old, so a little bit younger. He's taller. Um, you know, you got the Brazilian, Brazilian Jitsu. That's not really going to help you in the boxing style fight, but the fact that he's had one boxing fight under his belt shows that he's got confidence that he can win a boxing fight, where as your opponent is debuting in boxing. And it's a big difference, when it's a whole set of other tools. Absolutely, absolutely. The footwork is different. You and I were talking about this off air, being boxing versus kickboxing versus MMA. The footwork is different, the timing is different, the combinations are different, the stance is different. And now, fighting out of the Larry Miller Nissan on 104th Blue Corner, Shane Havoc Victor! Shane Victor will be the opponent, and that'll be interesting for Shane because he's seen now you know, when you're back getting ready, you don't necessarily see what's happening before you. If you're getting focused on your fight, another advantage that LT gets by being the defending champion. You know, that's a great point. You get to watch what the other guys have, all the way, you know, in all fairness, they got to watch what LT had as well. In fact, if nothing else, they had more tape on Nelson because they got to watch him go through a full tournament on YouTube. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so. and, and if that's how you want to conduct business, absolutely. <laughs> You know, it's a mind game. It's how you approach it mentally. And in whatever situation you're put in, you've got to find a way to succeed. And that's the bottom line. Or certain. Well stated, sir. I'll tell you, the one thing about this 170 pound division, all these guys are built very well. <laughs> You know, you get, you get some of the lighter weights. You, you, you Ladies and gentlemen, and let's meet guys our seven. fighters. They can bring First, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Red Corner from Lawrence, Kansas, representing Lawrence Fight Club, Zach Cross Biusa. And in the Larry Miller Nissan on 104th Balloon Corner from Billings, Montana, Tell you one thing, Brian House is a good gym. Oh, yes, Let's go, baby. No hey, fighters man, coming from early out of state. Man. Man. Fight, protect yourself at all times and obey my commands at all times. Questions out of the blue corner? Questions out of the red corner? Touch gloves, gentlemen. Let's fight. All right, Mr. Buco wearing the red trunks, Mr. Fincher wearing the black and red trunks. And here we go, four rounds pro boxing. Interesting, and see how the stances are because you're seeing fighters that are usually used to MMA style fighting. 
Stay loose. Hey, that bump is there. Keep that foot on the outside. Yeah, I really enjoy the 170-pound division like you were talking about. These guys are so well-conditioned, and they bring strength enough hey, that you can have the little the literal one out. or two punch knockout like we saw Nelson do, having that kind of power. But they've also got just great speed and super crisp hey, technique. But you take a look at Fitchner and, again, from the okay, Grindhouse right. Gym, and, and then I look at Fuchsia as well. Fuchsia looks He's got a tough to hit for his style. It looks like he's tough to find. Yeah, you know, he listed his style as Kung Fu, and if, if he wasn't being cheeky on that, if he really is a Kung, Tu Kung Fu stylist fighter, it's a very fluid, very um, angles, melding style yeah, of a fight. Absolutely, because you don't see that listed very often. True. It's start getting some shots in here and some combinations over in the corner, and Fuchsia working out of it, but Fitchner kind of bullying him around right now. Yeah, Fitchner doing a good job with this combination here and just going from corner to corner. Not uh, not letting up. Stay breathing on him, Shane. Stay breathing. You're good. Nice, there you go. Fuchsia's using up a little bit more energy. Fitchner. Fitchner with the, with the boxing style, hands up. He looks like a boxer. Yeah, you can tell he probably spent a good deal of time in the gym uh, working just his boxing in order to make sure that he can be solid through the first round of this tournament. Again, you're, you're right. I think the one thing Vish has not been able to do is get into the distance where he can strike JR, where, where he can be a danger. Oh, well, that's a big shot right there. Absolutely. That right hand and then follows it nicely with the shot to the body. Good job by Fitcher of mixing his strikes high and low. And then he came with a left and then he came back with a right handed hook. And there you see it miss right there. A little bit of a forearm push there. The referee warned him. Yeah, you got to warn Again, you're, you're boxing. That's where you get to some of those styles there. Pitcher right now having control of this round with 36 seconds to go. And he's controlling the round and had the bigger shots, JR. Yeah, Fitcher's starting to put it together really nicely here. He's found his range. He's found his timing. And basically, every time that he gets hey, uh, up against the ropes or into a corner, he lets go with a really nice prolonged combination. Yusi has been able to show the ability to take some damage so far in this fight. He took some heavy shots and, and withstood it right there. Stay breathing. There's the 10 second clock. Who stays busier in this last, last 10 seconds? Fisher. This is going to go to a second round as uh, Busey gets a couple strikes in at the end. But I would say uh, in, in that fight, Shane Fitcher was Ladies and uh, gentlemen, once again, get your hand. plates from Wayne's Barbecue yes. at the concession booth. Give us just a second to get the replay up here. And uh, Fitcher in that round. Nice job with combinations. You see us spending a lot of time backing up. And any time that he got put up against the ropes or into a corner, it was a really nice job of Fitcher by taking advantage and going with the prolonged flurry. Busha always able to get himself out of danger, but he took some shots while he was in there, and that's what the judges are looking for. All right, seconds out. Here we go right for the second round. Again, four rounds. Uh, earlier I had mistakenly said three rounds, but this is four rounds that this fight will go. If it doesn't end early, we saw in the first fight of the evening, LT Nelson take about a buck 32 to finish his opponent. He'll be set for that semifinal of kickboxing. There you go, keep putting that jab in his face. Also advancing is Joe Borshing in the second fight. And right now, Zach Boucher and Shane Fitcher going at it here in the second round. Fitcher with the white gloves. Ba, ba, ba. Nice. Nice. Corner of Fitcher calling for combinations. Yeah, Pusha, you know, it, he, somebody's got to step in and want to mix it up. Listen, there's 10 grand on the line here. Yeah, so far, and what we're seeing out of Fitcher is really nice ability. I uh, got his head snap back there in Fitcher. But what we're seeing from Fitcher is really nice ability to throw his combinations, but he's not putting a stamp on it anywhere right. in the combination. Right. There's not great power to lead it off or to finish it. And, and that's where you see when you see guys that have a combination of one fight boxing is the experience of being able to follow up the combinations and being able to add on. 
Wait, 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 wait. Do a combination. Get a combination up. Touch, touch, touch. Now, first time you see Fitcher with his back against the ropes. Yep, Busey had found a little little spot. And same thing though, Busey not putting a stamp on any of his punches. Fitcher going to work here with Busey in the corner. Yo, oh, good oh, uppercut. Nice, nice uppercut, uppercut with yeah. the right, but Busey able to withstand it. He took a pretty good shot to the jaw, JR. Had his head snap back. Then a little stagger in the footwork there. Busey's hurt just a little bit. Get the timing, get the timing now. Mitch, you're going for the big body shot. But a guy with the amount of experience of Busia. Going to be able to weather the storm. He's been absolutely. Minute 12 left in this second round, and these fighters banging away at each other. And Mitch are definitely piling up the points, but Busia's not backing down. Fitch are staying busy in the corner, and Busia able to kind of switch roles and get out of that corner. Let's go. Hands up. Nice. Use that conditioning. Let's go. Oh, big overhand right by Fitcher came in and slid through. Fitcher getting in some really good positions, but just not able to put the power on the end of his punches in order to get a finish here so far. Again, Busch's angle, how he stands, how he punches, he's not an easy target, and Fitcher's done a good job tagging with some of the shots. There's one with the overhand right. Go under him off you. Underneath that too. And again, you got to look at this. That in, your, in this King of Sparta tournament, you're going to have to win three fights to get that 10 grand. And when you go the distance, you're going big, hard rounds like this, JR. It just adds toll up. 10 seconds left in this round, and Fitcher finishing with a combination. As Buse is up against the rope. And now Buse with the nice right hand. Snap the head back of Fitcher. Another round down. I have it fairly solidly 2-0 so far for Fitcher. Agreed. Once again, Sparta Combat League is brought to you by Wayne's Barbecue. Has He's got some danger to him. He's obviously plate. got a chin on him as well. Yeah, no doubt about that. He's not an easy out. He's shown that. Showed it early on in the fight. And Fitcher, uh, seeing here in the replay, some of that punishment that Beach is able to absorb does a really nice job of taking the shots, keeping himself in the fight. But Fitcher makes it really easy for the judges to see who's the one that's pressing the action here. You know, JR, you're from Estes Park. You should have brought, you know, for the winner on top of the 10 grand, maybe some of that toffee. There you go. Or you could have brought it for me. <laughs> you know. Cotter alongside J.R. Gordon, a couple of Colorado natives here bringing you the action. Sparta Combat League, 73 from Jeffco Fairgrounds. And a big shot by Fitcher to start this third round. Hands up, Shane. Here's Shane's corner telling him to keep his hands up. Never bad advice in a fight. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nice punch by Fincher coming around and getting some combinations going now, too. Busch has been in trouble here, but again, hard to find that combination in him more than a couple of times. Yeah, Busch is trying to get his, uh, trying to get his combinations going, but Fincher always has an answer for him. And again, every time Fincher gets him in the corner, he goes yeah. to work. Oh, he's been taking the body. He's got him in trouble he's now. He's going to get yeah. the count here. He's getting, he's getting bombarded. Oh, and now he's down his knees. There were some body shots in there, and with a flurry of a combination upstairs as well, JR. Yeah, and, you know, I mentioned a little bit ago, really nice job by Fitcher of mixing in the, oh, and pretty unsteady feet there for Fitcher. They're going to let it go. You still listen to his corner, and right now you want to end this. If you're if you're Fitcher, you want to get this thing done. Absolutely. And, and a little unsteady on his legs, and you want to battle back. Busha trying to find himself right now, and Fitcher coming back with combinations. This is going this to be close to any if he can keep him in that corner, get a couple of clean shots, which he has done. And it's getting yeah. close now. Another yeah, three, four, four taking large shots. That's it. He's down. The referee's going to give him a count. I don't think Beach is going to be able to beat no, this. I think that's going to be it. Agreed. Yep, that's that's going to be it. So congratulations to Mr. Fitcher. Uh, he uh, gets to advance in the tournament out of the Grindhouse Gym. I told you, the Grindhouse Gym out of Montana, that is a tough gym. I've seen fighters there before. And give it up for Busha. This kid was tough. He took some major punishment in that third round. 
Dr. Alex Constantinidis, best in the business, there in the ring taking care of our fighters. And I think basically uh, each, uh, I think he might just, you know, a lot of it's just being worn He's out. Just, yeah. So in here we're checking out the final flurry there. And it was a good job by Fincher. Every time he got his opponent in the corner, he did exactly what your coaches tell you to do. And that's flurry. Keep your opponent there. Don't let him escape. And this is exactly why coaches tell you that. Look at this, young fighters. When you get your man in the corner, go to work because good things are going to happen. Right. And there's seven or eight uppercuts there. And when your opponent's bent over and you're coming with that uppercut, JR, the force is just there. That's where you get that knockout power. Are streaming live for Sparta Combat League. I saw on Facebook Mr. Shane Crawford posted that he's watching us for the first time. So I'm going to give you a quick shout out, Mr. Crawford. Thanks for being a fan. We appreciate your patronage. Oh, absolutely. Having you here. All right, Cody Momart has the official time. He ought to be in there uh, climbing into the ring in just a second. Mr. Beach is up, moving around, doing well. Offering some congratulations, so let's get the official word. Well, you want the knockout, but if you're in this tournament, you want it earlier. But you know, I tell you, Bushi was tough. Once again, Wayne's Barbecue is the official food sponsor of Sparta Combat League. But now, ladies and gentlemen, referee Tim Mills has stopped us, called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 38 seconds of the third round, declaring their winner by TKO Shane Havoc Victor! Well, Shane Victor will move on and takes it into the third round, and Fuchsia with a good job of, uh, you know, it was awkward. It was, Listed himself as a kung fu fighter, and it, it, proved, it took a while for Pitcher to kind of figure out where, it, but the corners were where the danger was. Yep. All right. Well, Mr. Pitcher heading over to get his post-fight interview. We will be right back with our final boxing match of the tournament. Oh, yes, it does, and that's also my first professional boxing match, too, so. Congratulations on that. Uh, kickboxing next, how do you feel about that? Great, I feel great. I'm going against, hey, my I blood. believe, uh, a fellow Montanian, Joe Borshik, <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. Nice. Uh, stamina is a big part of this tournament. Um, you had a pretty grueling fight there tonight. Uh, so did some of the other competitors. How do you feel about your cardio? Oh, great, amazing. So. Uh, my coach, Will Gronhauser, and Corey Sidner, and his little daughter, Queen Beezy, they all keep me conditioned and ready to go. Well, congratulations on the win. We'll see you next round. 